Looking for cool toys like the one seen in this review? You can shop thousands of action figures, statues, busts, replicas, costumes, graphic novels, and much more at Big Bad Toy Store. Just click the link in the description below this video. Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Star Wars Black Series 6-inch Princess Leia in the Slave Outfit. That's right, the first Leia we're getting in the new 6-inch line from Hasbro is the famous Slave Girl Leia. Let's check her out. Leia comes in that same style Star Wars Black Series window box packaging, featuring that black kind of deco there with really no artwork or anything. Just has the Star Wars Black Series logo at the top, along with a little illustrated medallion of Princess Leia's face. And then the figure and her accessories are fully showcased in the window box. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at this figure outside of the packaging. Now, the sculpt and the likeness on this figure, for the most part, is pretty good, but I think I've got the same complaints with this one that I did with Han Solo. While overall the likeness in her face is pretty accurate to Carrie Fisher, I do think it's a little soft. Maybe it's not quite as detailed as it could be, because uh, it's not really like you look at it and you're just like, yeah, that's definitely Princess Leia, but it looks enough like her, I guess. So it's not really a big complaint, I'm just saying it's probably not as good as it could be. Also, I think this is the first figure I've had where I've had a little bit of a paint mess up. Uh, right above her right eyebrow, and then again on her left cheek, I've got a lot of brown smudges, uh, probably from her hair. So unfortunately, it's just not as good of a paint job on this particular figure as I've seen on some of the others. Now, the sculpt of the hair and all that stuff is still really nice, though. I like the way they still were able to do the bun up in the back of her hair, has the nice braided ponytail that's coming down over her shoulder. All of that is a really nice touch. And then, she's not really wearing much, <laughs> but what she is wearing, it's pretty accurate to, of course, what we've seen in the film. She's wearing the uh, golden bikini there, and then the skirt parts that she's got on the front is actually a soft goods material. Um, you know, it's very flowy and everything because it's made of the soft goods, but as you can see on mine, I've kind of got this fraying problem, specifically with this skirt piece on the back. Uh, it's very frayed and jagged on the edges, and I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. I think it was meant to be a lot smoother, um, so definitely worth pointing out. I'm not sure if that's just a problem on mine or if that's something that a lot of people are seeing. Now, I will kind of point out that I know in, in the past with uh, really heavily articulated female figures and lines like Marvel Legends and stuff like that, uh, it's always a little tough to get the female form properly done with all the articulation. And I will say that I think Hasbro did a pretty great job here. I mean, Princess Leia's not wearing a lot of clothing, so I can imagine how tough it must have been to actually design this figure to still look proportionate and look good. And overall, I think the job was pretty well done here. So she still features quite a bit of articulation. The uh, ball jointed head there allows her to move the head all the way around, rock it around, move it left and right, up and down. You got ball joints at the shoulders there. You've got swivels above the elbow, standard joints at the elbow, swivels at the wrist, as well as hinge joints at the wrist. You got torso articulation there that's right in her midsection, so you can rotate the body around, move it left and right. You got nice uh, hinge joints at the thighs there, so legs can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. You got swivels at the thigh cut. You still got double joints at the knees, and then the feet. Right below the boots there, the feet are able to swivel side to side and move up and down. So, you'll still be able to get some pretty good poses out of Princess Leia here. Another thing is that she does feature that removable head, just like we've seen on all of the other figures in the Black series. And the ball joint underneath the head does appear to be about the same size as some of the standard male figures, like Luke Skywalker on Han Solo. So, you can do this. And even this. Ugh, creepy. <laughs> Now, Princess Leia is probably the shortest figure that we're going to see uh, as far as like the standard humans go. She runs at exactly five inches tall, so she is a full inch shorter than characters like Han Solo and a half inch shorter than Luke Skywalker, but that is accurate because Carrie Fisher is very short. 
Now, as far as accessories go, uh, first of all, she does have that chain wrapped around her neck that you might have noticed. Uh, one thing I kind of want to point out is that the chain is just kind of that sculpted plastic, so it just kind of hangs there. I do really wish we could have gotten an actual metal chain, or at least maybe a linked plastic chain. Either way, I wish it was more chain-like, so it kind of dangled more appropriately. Uh, this just kind of sticks straight down, and it looks a little awkward. It would have been a lot cooler if it was a metal chain, or at least a plastic linked chain. Either way, that's removable if you want to take it off. Uh, all you have to do is just pop the head off, and then you can just slide that chain off if you want to. It's pretty easily done. Other than that, she also comes with two staff accessories straight out of the Jabba scene from the film. Both of them are nicely detailed and they can fit into her hand. She can do single-handed poses or double-handed poses. Of course, one of them's got the blade on there so she can battle her way off of Jabba's sail barge. So it's pretty cool having those included accessories with a smaller figure like this. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the Star Wars Black Series 6-inch Slave Leia figure. Overall, I say it's a pretty nicely done figure. I do have a few small problems with my particular figure with the paint smudges on the face and the frayed kind of skirt parts that I'm not entirely sure are going to be a, a big problem with everybody's or if it's just something that's wrong with mine. But overall, I do like the sculpt and everything on there, and I think it's a pretty good Slave Leia figure in the 6-inch scale. Not perfect, but pretty good. Slave Leia and the rest of Series 2 of Star Wars Black Series are hitting online toy shops right now, such as BigBadToyStore.com. So happy hunting, and until next time.